Ladies and gentlemen, this is Adam Kokesh. I'm here at the Texas State Libertarian Party Convention with none other than Brandon Finney. He is a currently serving Army National Guard soldier, an electrician. He is also a state representative in the state of New Hampshire who recently became a libertarian after being elected as a Republican. And not only am I really excited that we have another veteran in the movement, obviously there are many of us who, actually I can't say veteran, but uh, another military man, that, that sounds even worse, doesn't it? We have we have another military person here in in the movement because uh, and especially active within the party, because those of us who have been the knife edge of government, the actual application of violence on behalf of politicians, uh, we are all the more compelled by our experience to get away from government, to condemn and absolutely reject that violence and aggression. And Brandon has been speaking out recently against the actions by President Trump in Syria. Obviously, very hot issue right now, and one that is really critical to the Libertarian Party, given that we have seen so much of Trump's base finally realize that he is not what he said he was. So, Brandon, uh, first, given what we're seeing in Syria right now, just bef before we get into the politics of this, the nature of the attacks and the, the uh, alleged chemical attacks here, what do you think is the greatest injustice in this situation? Well, I think that, you know, given the, the uh, um, idea that we might not even have all the information on the attack in general, I mean, I, I'm not convinced that Assad is gassing his own people. I don't, I don't think it's expedient to, you know, to, to do that. Um, I think that there's people in his war cabinet that are feeding him information and, and influencing his actions. Well, about President Trump in that sense, I think you're, you're, you're giving him the benefit of the doubt here as if he's just being misled. Do you think he was part of this effort? Do you think he knows what's going on, or do you really think he's just a useful idiot? Uh, I think it's a mixture of both, to be honest, um, but, I, but I do think that he's trying to um, send a deterrent um, to the rest of the world and not just to, to Syria that we will not you know, back down. Um, but unfortunately, you know, we're, we're going to incur war by doing this. What he's done by sending airstrikes into Syria is, is, you know, um, is an act of war, and I'm completely against it. So nearly every single president that we've had in, in at least the modern era has been elected on an anti-war, non -inter even George W. Bush was uh, running on a pretty stringent anti-interventionist platform. So what do you think is, is really driving Trump? Is it just that he's being lied to? Or, do you, I mean, is, 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 that, is that really all it is? No, I, and I, I didn't want to, you know, to make it sound like that's, that's all that it is and that he's just being ignorant. Um, but I, that might be a part of it. But I, but I also do believe that um, he's, he's trying to show strength, but you don't show strength by shoving, you know, bombs down the throats of kids. Well, what do you say to the argument that, you know, Assad's a bad guy, there's been a civil war in Syria for seven years now, that uh, half a million people may have died just as a result of that. Shouldn't we be intervening? Shouldn't somebody step in and do something? Absolutely not. We are, we're, we, you know, we are not the world's police. We are not responsible for other countries. Unless we have had a contract agreement that we will provide, you know, force protection um, but even then, I'm I'm wary of, of implementing those kind of contracts. You know, uh, you know Thomas uh, Jefferson actually warned against us doing that in the first place. And I, I you know I really wish that that we would you know um, heed his words even in 2018. So what would you do about Aleppo? <laughs> what is Aleppo? <laughs> I'm just 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 joke. <laughs> um, I oh, I gotta say you know it is it is this is a very serious topic we're talking about death and destruction literally uh, innocent lives being lost but that doesn't mean that we can't you know have a sense of humor about it we can't be light about it and the other thing I I, I want to put this in perspective because for the, the uh, <laughs> there you go libertarian sense of humor uh, that's that's a that's a great joke right there Bill Well 2020. Um, the, the, the scope of this is, is really bothersome, just that Donald Trump is saying that 42 people may have died in a chemical attack, and therefore we have to launch an airstrike or series of airstrikes that are going to kill a lot more people. And we have 20 veterans committing suicide every single day in this country. And you go, Donald Trump, really, you're willing to launch military action over 42 but you're not willing to end the drug war or give the VA to veterans or just take a serious look at military veteran suicides 
that just I I exposes the, the gross hypocrisy of this. And it, I, I, I don't think there's going to be a massive outpouring of, of anti-war sentiment. I don't even think, you know, Code Pink or the anti-war left is going to, you know, come out and say, well, we have to protest this because it is relatively small. And I think it's a good sign that the worst that our government can get away with is something that is of, of a relatively limited scale like this. Absolutely. Um, I, you know, I, you know, it is incumbent upon us in this party to to be the anti-war party because you know, we we don't believe in violating the autonomy of, of individuals, especially in other countries that we have no part of of their you know their uh, their government and and their culture and their people. Um, it is absolutely wrong for the United States to be in Syria. So, what would you like to see happen there? You know, it's it's one of those things where you know, you know, we obviously don't like the idea of a civil war, but it's one of those things where if we were to intervene, how are, are we going to make things better? And we, you know, we've already seen that by by being involved in and you know throwing in some airstrikes in this country, we're, we're you know we're going to exasperate the the um, you know no situation, and you know it's going to aggravate other countries, and they might be incensed into war with us now. And as as far as the other point you made about the veterans every day, I mean. Um, you know, since I've been in the National Guard, I've, I've been serving for almost nine years now. I mean, we're not a full-time force, but it doesn't mean that that the, you know that the effects of our service it, it is any less you know s you know severe in some people's cases. I've um, you know served with plenty of people that have been over you know seas in combat theaters, and they've they've come home, and and it's the stress of being in the military and 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 having a home life, ha having a work life. You know, for you know for uh, for some people, it's it's too much, and we we try our best to to provide services and programs for them, but it's it's uh, on the onus of the you know the individual to seek help, and I hope that, that everybody continues to do so. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Brandon Finney, he's running for re-election for state rep in New Hampshire. And what's your website, sir? Uh, www.finneynh.com. Uh, that's P H I N N E Y. Look him up. Second highest elected libertarian in the country. If you're in New Hampshire, especially, let's help get this man re-elected. Th thank you, Adam. Thank you to YouTube for hosting this video and for being an essential part of human progress by making video hosting available worldwide to everyone on the internet. However, the next phase in human progress is here with Steemit.com and their video hosting alternative blockchain-based solutions, including DTube, and you can find that through Steemit.com as well as my own page there, at Adam Kokesh. This is a decentralized blockchain-based social media network that pays you fairly for your content. Already, I'm regularly making more there with a single post than I do from an entire month on YouTube. So please join us on the next frontier of the information revolution at steamit.com. And if you want help getting a leg up there, I'm happy to re-steam your posts and make sure that no one is starting from scratch. Just email me one of your favorite posts at adam at thefreedomline.com and we'll share it on my feed.